Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Chancho's Rips back again with another video for you guys. Hope you guys are having a good day. Today we have something a little bit unusual. Uh, my friend Matt, aka Ghetto Weto, you might see him in the comments sometimes on my videos. He actually went ahead and bought me a bunch of these vintage upper deck NFL football and score football value packs from the 1990s. There's about... I think 300, it says 300 vintage NFL cards here. So there's two really fat stacks here. Um, we're actually just gonna go ahead and open one for today. It seems like a lot to open. But yeah, uh, normally I tell you guys, you know who we're looking for as far as stud and rookies go, but uh, to be honest, I don't know what kind of cards we're gonna see come out of here. 1990s cards i was actually born in 1993 so i'm not really gonna know a lot of these players coming out of here unless it's like a really big name throwback card right here it says a uh, high series find the namath so i'm assuming we're gonna be looking for a uh, joe namath there as a as a hit card right there in the upper deck nfl football 1991 packs but anyway it should be a little fun video here see what we get shout out to my boy matt get a wedo thanks for the cards man if you are unaware, we are also running a giveaway on the channel right now. In our other video, the uh, three prism cello break video, we are running a giveaway. Should be titled giveaway in the name of the title of the video. It was uh, two videos ago. Go ahead and like and comment and subscribe on that video to be entered to win a Rookies and Stars NFL Blaster Box. Again, make sure you like and comment because I will be using the YouTube comment picker to pick a winner from that video. You got quite a bit of comments, so quite a bit of entries, but your chances are still really good to win this blaster box. It was a good giveaway. Gonna be ending that giveaway pretty soon here if we don't hit a uh, 75 subs, like I said. We might end it at like 60, 65, but make sure you like, comment, and subscribe so you can keep getting content from my channel. In our last video, guys, we actually opened up a Playoffs Mega. I know you see one in the back here, but we opened up a Playoffs Mega in our last video, and we had an amazing hit of a Herbert Rookie Ticket 5 of 10 auto. So if you want to see me kind of freak out about that and see this amazing hit, make sure you check out our last video and give that video a like. This is such a crazy hit. Herbert's looking like Rookie of the Year every game he plays. Looks like he's going to take it home this year for uh, NFL Rookie of the Year honors. This this card is actually comping really well on eBay. I've actually only seen one other comp on eBay. And the sale listing ended at around $1,300. I've actually had an offer of about $1,300 for this card. But I'm a diehard Charger fan, so I'm going to be keeping it for now. Especially with him being able to lock up Rookie of the Year. Hopefully at the end of the season if everything goes according to plan. Besides, this card looks pretty pristine. It's got really sharp corners, no surface damage to the face. The centering looks amazing. I might I'm actually end up getting this graded. I've never gotten any cards graded, but uh, this is definitely one to consider getting graded here. Such a beautiful card. Justin Herbert, 5 of 10. Contenders Panini rookie ticket. Anyway, guys, we are going to be opening up these vintage packs like I said so uh, let's dive right in if you see any players you like make sure to leave a comment kind of educate me on these older throwback players because I will not know a lot of them coming out of here that's for sure and, uh, let's dive right in quite a few packs here I think they're all they all might be different who knows but uh, let's go. I'm just going to open up a few of them here to get going. Looks like 1990 score series 2 NFL football. Very special young superstars glossy set offer. Let's see back of wrapper. Let's see here. Hmm. What is the special score glossy set NFL Young Superstars? 40 of the top NFL Young players are in this exclusive glossy score set. 
with full color photography on each oh full color photography on each side guys to order send five 1990 score football wrappers a check or money order for five dollars payable to major league marketing along with your name address and on a three by five card so i guess that's how it was done back in the day guys if you wanted to get some better cards you would take your value pack wrappers and send five at a time to uh official league marketing for a better set of cards so we definitely have more than five wrappers here i wonder what would happen if we try to send those in right now but uh Anyways, let's uh, we'll start off with the score. Let's see what we get. We'll open up a bunch of packs at a time. Might be kind of a little bit of a lengthy video, so uh, grab a drink, grab some snacks, settle on in. Again, guys, make sure you uh, subscribe if you're liking the content, man. I really appreciate it. Right now, we're up to 49 subs, only one away from 50. So uh, if you're not subbed, you could be the 50th sub. So uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like the videos if you like what you're seeing. Also, don't be afraid to comment. I like interacting with you guys. I've gotten a few comments from, I believe, Australia, which is pretty cool, seeing as I'm over here in San Diego. Got some comments from Australia and people liking the videos. So shout out to Australia, man. Hopefully I don't butcher a lot of these names. I'm usually pretty good with names unless it's like a crazy, crazy last name. We'll see how many players that are these cards that I actually recognize. Or how many you guys recognize. But uh, again, this is way before my time. I didn't get into watching football until about the early 2000s. My oldest memories are going to be of watching Charger football of Marty Schottenheimer back when the uh, Chargers used to run the rock better than any team in the league behind LaDainian Tomlinson and Michael the Burner Turner and Darren Sproles. LT, the last person for the Chargers to win an MVP award back in 2006. A definite goat right there. All right, so we got a pretty fat stack going right here. Let's grab a stack and see what we can get here. All right. So right off the bat, we are going to have Ron Hallstorm of the Packers. These cards actually look pretty nice. I like the color and the photography for 1990s cards. These cards are in great condition. We have Jerry Olsansky. Ols That's a weird name we have mark logan man it's crazy to see how the uniforms have changed and condensed over time like look at those shoulder pads man they make these dudes look massive i know back then they were massive guys because you know those times were uh, different with the uh yeah with the peds and all that good stuff but uh big dudes big shoulder pads let's keep it going we have john forcade Naz Wert Wert Worthen Worthen. Let's go with Worthen. Hardy Nickerson. We have an All Pro Barry Sanders. Barry Sanders. Sanders. Sorry, that's a really recognizable name. Running back lines right here. That's a good hit. We're gonna set that Barry Sanders aside. We have Fred Banks, Henry Thomas, Chet Brooks. We have a class of 1990 insert of Ronaldo. Hey, that's my brother's name, Ronaldo Turnbull. That's a cool looking card right there. Ronaldo, Reynaldo, Ronaldo Turnbull. Class of 1990, Cortez Kennedy. Keith McCants. Tracy Rocker. Ooh, we have a charger right here, Darren Nilsson. Never heard of this guy before my time, but those charger unis will stand the test of time forever, man. Gorgeous uniforms. Irv Pankey. Mark Rippin. Stay Rippin. Pharrell Edmonds. Kevin Green. 
Lee Williams, Chargers. Bruce Rammers. Kevin Fagan. Fagan? Fagan? All pro punter card. Don't really see a lot of punter cards in the modern era cards, that's for sure. Sean Ledenta? Ledetta? Landetta? Yeah, let's go with Landetta. Chris Dolman? Keith Jackson? Oh, I wonder if we can pull an OJ. That's around this time, right? OJ cards? Yeah. Troy Benson? Ricky Prohel? Ron Cox, 1990 rookie card. Don't know who the hot rookies were in the 90s, but let's see. Charles Arbuckle. William Perry. Gerald Williams. Derek Thomas. Don Warner. A kicker card. Chip Law Miller. Lewis Tillman, Freeman McNeil, Mike Gann, Mark Lee, All Pro Rod Woodson kick returner card. Looks like he's got a Pro Bowl uniform on there. It's a pretty cool looking card. Another Sean Ladenta, Eddie Murray. I, thought I said Eddie Murphy for a second. Eddie Murray. Sean Gale. We have a Burn Brostick. James Williams. Mark Carrier. Ed Reynolds. Matt Barr. Murray Buford. That ends up with that little stack that we had going right there. We did get an all-pro Barry Sanders, guys. So that's a pretty recognizable name, Barry Sanders, right there. One of the greatest running backs of all time. We have a Tim Brown with the Raiders. Rufus Porter. Steve Berlin with the Raiders. I have to do a flip here. Upside-down cards. It never changes. Ken Sims. Oh, man. Tyrone Braxton. Brent Williams. All-Pro Anthony Munoz. Keith Jackson All-Pro. All-Pro Sterling Sharp. William Howard with the Bucks. Alfonso Carricker with the Broncos. I love the throwback uniforms, man. I know they do throwback uniforms sometimes in the modern era NFL, but they should bring these back permanently for some teams. Mark Ingram. Anthony Johnson, Notre Dame 1990 rookie card. Fred Washington rookie. Mike Bellamy. Keena Turner. Ricky Jackson. Guy, I can't even say that last name, Troy Stafford, John Hand, All-Pro Jay Helgenberg, Record Breakers Bo Jackson, there you go, Bo Jackson, uh, Matt is a big fan of the Raiders, Ghetto Weto, there you go, a Bo Jackson card, Record Breakers, Ooh, we have a Hall of Famer insert, Bob Grease, Grice? I'm going to go with Grice. Tim uh, Noah. Reggie Williams. Mark Bortz. Greg Cragen. Jeff George. Lamar Latham. Look at how huge these dudes look, man. Crazy shoulder pad. Look at the shoulder pads on that guy. That guy looks like a monster. 1990s rookie monster right there, Lamar Latham. Terry McDaniel. Otis Anderson. Dan Fike. Anthony Carter. Stanley Morgan. Mark Robinson. EG Jun or EJ Jr. We have an all-pro Christian Okoye. 
A Joe Montana All-Pro. There you go. Joe Montana All-Pro scorecard right there. That's a good hit. We have a Jay Heigen, Heigenberg All-Pro. Mark Ingram. Not to be confused with the uh, Mark Ingram on the Ravens of today's game. We have a Jeff Gossett. Mike Wilshire. Anthony Thompson. Leroy Butler. Aaron Wallace. Pat Beach. Michael Carter. Mel Owens. Sammy Smith. John L. Williams. Ernest Givens. Gene Lang. I love the throwback. Falcons uniforms. That black Falcons uniform versus the white is a really clean uniform. Andre Tippett. Eugene Robinson. Hall of Famer Jack Lambert. Gary Zimmerman. Zimmerman, is that the coach with the Vikings now? Uh, I think so. Mark Duper. Eugene Lockhart. Dexter Carter. Mike Fox. Back here. Joe Morris. Rob McGorvin. Gerald Williams. Walker Lee Ashley. Let's see here. Got a little bit of a stack left here before we open some more. We have a JT Smith. Eric Hill. Larry Roberts. Lewis Sharp. We have a Hall of Famer, Bob St. Clair. Look at that helmet. Look at that face mask. You poked right in the eye with that. Where's the eye protection? Gary Zimmerman, All Pro. Mark Carrier. Mike Ken. John Grimsley. Bill Romanowski. James Williams. Scott Mitchell. Peter Tom Willis. Three first names right there. Al Harris. Mike Webster. Don Mosbar. Pierce Holtz. Ron Rivera. Ron Rivera, the uh, coach of the uh, Fighting Washington. Ron Rivera. Same Ron Rivera, guys? Who knows? I think so. I'm going to go with like... Yeah, it's Ron Rivera. Coach of the Fighting Washington. Former defensive coordinating coach of the Chargers. Fantastic coach. Apparently a former Bears player. Ron Rivera. Mike Quick. Al Baker. All-Pro Bruce Matthews. All-Pro Tom Newberry. Gary Zimmerman. Deron Sherry, Ricky Nadel, Fred Banks, Alexander Wright, Keith McCants, McCantus? Yeah, M no, McCants. Jimmy Jones, William Perry, Irv Panty, Gary Hodgeboom. It's a woo, interesting last name. Hodgeable. All right, let's gonna open up the rest of these little packs here. And we move on to the NFL 1991 cards. And I got these cards. One of my other friends, uh, Joey, asked me what the chances are of hitting a uh, another autographed Herbert, seeing as Herbert is 22 years old and isn't you know, even born at this time. I'm going to go with a none percent chance. Okay. Got a few more packs to open up here, guys. Pretty interesting cards so far. The name changes in the NFL are crazy. You don't see these names pretty much anymore throughout the league, that's for sure. We got way crazier names in the modern era. I 
have a favorite throwback uniform. These throwback uniforms are crazy. Huge shoulder pads. Just cut a little bit off the top here. We'll stick this in half. All right. Got Bruce Smith, Jerry Gray, Rick Fenny, Bubba McDowell. What is this thing here? Some kind of sticker? Super Bowl trivia? What is this? It's got like a little effect to it right there. Super Bowl trivia. Two teams lost a Super Bowl and won the next year. Name one of them. Is it A, the Redskins, B, the Dolphins, C, the Cowboys, or D, the Raiders, guys? No cheating. Who do you guys think that is? Let's see here. It's going to give us the answer. Answer C, Cowboys, who lost game five and won game six. And B, Dolphins, who lost game six and won game seven. That is a cool little insert thingy here right there. Super Bowl trivia. Pretty cool. Rod Woodson. Tim Harris. Tunch Ilkin. Sam Mills. It's crazy how these cards are like more centered than you see in a lot of the higher end prism cards. You know, taking shots at Panini quality control here, but a lot of the Prism cards that you see, even some of the big hitters, like the Herberts, all those cards, like the quality control is just not there these days. A lot of those cards are off-centered, brings down the value tremendously, tremendously, and uh, yeah, hopefully they can get, uh, get their act together. I know they're pumping out cards as fast as possible with the high demand, but uh, yeah, they need to get the quality control guys some better earnings or something so they could do a better job because it's uh, terrible. Jim Jensen, Charles Haley, Warren Moon, Hot Gun. Looks like he's playing football in space right there. Warren Moon, the uh, quarterback representative for the world against the alien team out in space. Jim Kelly, Bernie Kosar, Robert Clark, Jill Bird, Rooney Pete, Joe Montana. Let's get a card right there. Joe Montana. John Stevens, Steffens, Troy Aikman. There you go. Troy Aikman. He's the uh, Fox commentator guy, right? Just kidding. We know who Troy Aikman is, guys. Troy Aikman, Cowboys. Mike Kofer, Steve Young, Eric Ball. Oh, it looks like it's time for another round of Super Bowl trivia. So let's see what we got here. Name the player with the highest average gain per catch in a Super Bowl game. Is it A, Lynn Swan, B, John Stallworth, C, Cliff Branch, or D, Max McGee? Million dollar question, guys. If you were on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, what would your answer be? Let's see who we got here. Answer is B, Stallworth, who averaged 40.33 yards on three catches in game on Battle for Roman numerals, I believe the X is a 10. So that's 14, game 14. Another Super Bowl trivia, guys. We have Nate o Odoms, Keith Jones, Dave Dorson, Chris Dolman, Dave Craig, Wilbur Marshall, James Brooks, Ground Force card. Rodney Hampton, Mark Spindler, Dave Fulcher, Eric Metcalf. Is that DK Metcalf's dad? Sure does look like 
Here, uh, DK Metcalf a little bit. I'm pretty sure that's uh, DK Metcalf's dad on the Seattle Seahawks, but I'm not sure. Eric Metcalf, John Elway. But there you go. Broncos John Elway, Lorenzo White, Mike Machak, Munchak, Daryl Talley. <coughs> Sorry, we got Kent Holt. A third round of Super Bowl trivia, guys. These things get stuck to the cards. Alrighty here. What team was the first wild card team to win the Super Bowl, guys? Is it A, Dolphins, B, Cowboys, C, Raiders, or D, Jets? I honestly don't know. <laughs> but uh, let's see who it is. It's going to be C, the Raiders, who defeated the Eagles 27-10 to in Game 15 back in 81. So congrats Raiders to uh, your 81 Super Bowl win. Dave Dorson, Mark Jackson, Jerome Brown, Scott Case, Steve Atwater, Brian Socia, Dan Marino hot gun. There you go, a Dan Marino. Probably the best quarterback ever to not win a Super Bowl. Dan Marino hot gun. Another James Brooks ground force. Thurman Thomas ground force. Anthony Miller chargers. There is a ton of cards here, guys. A ton of, ton of cards. The little Super Bowl trivia things are pretty cool. I wonder why they stopped doing that kind of stuff in the new modern age cards. Hopefully bring it back one day. We have Jeff Dellen back. Dermonte Dawson, Billy Ray Smith, Tim Rosenback, Alonzo Highsmith, Albert Bentley. We have another Super Bowl trivia here, guys. It's going to say, what team defeated the Rams in their only appearance in the Super Bowl? A, Steelers, B, Dolphins, C, Raiders, D, Chiefs. Drum roll, please. Answer is going to be A, the Steelers, who beat them 31 to 19 in Super Bowl 14, 1980. We have a Ron Heller, Jeff Ulenke, Brian Noble, Jackie Slater, Carl Banks, Chris Jack, Ray Agnew. Shane Collin, Simon Fletcher, Robert A. Waltz, Reggie Roby, Gary Anderson, Leslie O'Neill, the Chargers, Frank Minifield Browns, Super Bowl trivia round four or six. Two players were back to back Super Bowl MVPs. Name one of them. Roger Stab Staubach, Terry Bradshaw, Bart Starr, or Jim Plunkett? And the answer is answer C, Bar Star, Bart Starr, Star in games 67 and 68, and B, Bradshaw in games 13 and 14. Henry Ellard, John Offerdahl, Sterling Sharp, Andre Reed, Lars Tate, Clyde Clifton, Kyle Clifton. We have a Phil Sims. There you go, Phil Sims, CBS Sports broadcaster, Giants quarterback, Phil Sims, Hawken. Don Majewski, Hawken. Boomer Esiason, another uh, CBS Sports broadcaster, Boomer Esiason. We have Bob Gagliano, Lewis Oliver, Jim Arnold, Neil Anderson, Derek Hill, Dave McGett, Andy Heck. Ooh. Super Bowl trivia. 
we have what two teams played in the Super Bowl the most times? A, the 49ers, B, the Cowboys, C, the Broncos, or D, the Dolphins? I'm sure these answers have all changed by now, but it is B, Cowboys, and D, Dolphins, who have each played five times. I think the Steelers uh, have something to say about that now. Um, Pete Mandley. Ken O'Brien. Vinny Testaverde. Tony Zendejas. Bubba Paris. Bernie Kosar. Don Majewski. Barry Sanders, ground force. There you go, guys. Barry Sanders. Another Phil Sims. Clay Matthews. Audrey Bruce. And Ralph Mojiseko. All right. It's another fat sack right there, guys. We're going to move on to these three packs. NFL Football 1991. And a... 1991 Pacific Pro Plus 28 player card super high gloss premium edition for a whopping 99 cents. Man, I would love to travel back to those times where you only paid 99 cents per pack. A value pack rents you about $10 now if you're lucky to find one for retail. And uh, most people aren't. So you're looking at paying resale of around $15 to $20. Or if it's Prism, you're looking at a whopping $35 for 15 cards, resale value. So obviously the uh, card collecting game has come a long way. People take advantage with scalping it. And uh, shame on those people. But uh, we're going to move on to the uh, NFL Football 1991 cards. So let's get these opened up. It looks like we are looking for the Namath, guys. Hopefully we can hit a Namath. Joe Namath. That'd be pretty sweet. These things are super sealed. This is going to be a little bit of a higher end looking product. Again, shout out to my boy Matt for the cards. Let me get these things open. Here is my knife right here. A little battering knife. Again, guys, if you are liking the content, if you guys like any of these cards, make sure you comment. I'm sorry if I butchered some player names or if I don't recognize players. These cards were before my time. Before a lot of you guys' time, I'm assuming. But uh, we'll see here. I'll we'll save that one for last. And let's go with these cards here. We have a collector's choice, V. Wells. Oh, by Vermin Wells, Morton Anderson. So the names are on the backs of the cards. Oh no, Terrell Daly, right there. And we have a uh, Neil Anderson. Nate Odoms. Richard Johnson. Gary Plummer. We have a rookie force. Harvey Williams. We have a Keith McKellar. William Frizzle. James Lofton. Fred Barnett. Thurman Thomas. The John L. Collector's Choice. It's a cool looking card right there. Throwback Seattle. James Hasty. Felix Wright. Steve Jordan. Dave McGett. Bill Romanowski. We have a rookie force, Dave McGuire. James Francis, J. 
Jay Schroeder. Woodson. Rod Woodson. Andre Risen. Emmett Smith. Emmett Smith. There you go. Steve Brossard. Dave Craig. Clarence Verndon. Sam Clancy. Barry Sanders. Chris Jack. Rookie Force Checklist. Is that Brett Favre right there in the front? About to get his lift on. Looks like he's only benching 135. Brett Favre. Step up your numbers. We have Jerry Gray. David Fulcher. Henry Illard. Rodney Holman. And Keith McKellar. And our last pack of this very lengthy video is going to be a 1991 Pacific Pro Football Plus 28 player card super high gloss premium edition. So we didn't hit on the name in that last pack. So let's see what we get out of this pack. Super high gloss in 1991. We have a Burt Grossman. San Diego Chargers defensive end. Dennis Bird. Bobby Wilson. Merlin or Merle Hodge. Leo Gios. Guy McIntyre. Michael Haddix. Dan Sol Suleiman. It is really hard to read these names vertically up and down. I'll tell you that for sure. Steve Smith. The Raiders. Los Angeles Raiders. Pete Stojanovic. Pete Stojanovic. That's a mouthful. Pete Holland. Warren Williams. Sammy Martin. Wayne Martin, Lonnie Young, Tony Straggle, Byron Evans, <coughs> Jeff Lagman, Fred Barnett, Mike Malarkey, Malarkey, Anthony Miller, Dennis Brown, Frank Stoms, Scott Studolo, Dave Meggett, Deion Sanders. Look at that. Deion Sanders, Atlantic Falcons cornerback. Primetime. Deion Sanders. It's a nice card right there. Andre Reed. And we end it with Neil Anderson, guys. So there you go. If you ever wonder what you're going to get out of these uh, 1990s vintage packs, you see it here, you get a ton, a ton of cards. Again, thanks for uh, sticking around for this lengthy video, if you managed to stick around for quite around this time. Again, guys, we are running a giveaway on our three uh, cello pack opening video, so don't forget to like, comment, and be entered into the Rookies and Stars Blaster Box giveaway. Thank you guys for watching the video. Again, shout out to Matt for buying these uh, throwback football cards for me. Hope you enjoyed the video, Matt. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day.